hey 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 guys today i have an exciting video so basically there's this new horse game that came out it's called wild shade it's really fun it's like alicia online i've never played alicia online so i don't really know that much about it but i tried wild shade it's really fun i wanted to do a first time playing video but a lot of other people were doing that so i wanted to do a little bit something different and i saw that there were no tip videos for tournaments so today i'm going to give you guys some tips on how to get a good place in the tournaments so you can get some moon coins and the star things <laughs> so yeah i hope you guys enjoy these tips and i hope it helps you because whatever you guys get from the tournaments can definitely help you breed and get the horses that you want so it's definitely good to use these tips let's get started so basically the first thing to know and remember about the tournament is that you have to have the most points to be in first place and so on and so forth. So basically the more points you have, the more of a rank you have and the higher rank you have, the more reward you get and the better reward. So this is from my first tournament. I only got second place, but that's because it's before I figured out all these tips. So I will show you the tournament that I'm in now. And what score I have. So this is basically when I first started taking over the leaderboard. When I first got first place. And I figured out some tips that really helped. And really helped with time and points. And then I got up some more. And if you do these tips your points will gradually go up. And you will start making a lot of money. And this is how it is now. And yeah it just keeps going up. So the first tip starts with the beginning of the race. The first thing you can do to get as many points as possible is get a perfect start. So you can get a few different types of starts which give you different amount of points and perfect gives you the most. If you get a perfect start you get 100 points which will definitely make a big impact on your points and getting you to the top of the tournament board. So basically you're just going to need to get a perfect start <laughs> and that will definitely help you. Yellow orbs give you 3 points each, so try to get them if you can without going too much out of your way. So with the bomb and the ice, they're basically the same thing, so you're just going to want to use it right when somebody is behind you, because then it gets them out right away and you're sure that it's going to hit them. So yeah, that's the best thing you can do with the ice and fire, but if there's not somebody directly behind you, then you're going to want to put it in a, in a spot where you think they will go. So like usually in the middle of somewhere because then they have to dodge it. So either way it helps you because it inconveniences them and then um, you will have extra time or it will hit them and then you'll get some points. Just like you can hit other people, they can hit you. So it's a good idea to not stand directly behind somebody or they can hit you. So next up we have the end of the first lap, which is the final lap. You're basically just going to want to try to get first over the lap because it does give you the highest points which is 200 and if you get second then it's 120 and then it just keeps going down from there so this one is kind of an annoying one a lot of people have problems with the wind from what i've heard people don't know really like how to use it or when to use it so basically you're just gonna try to use it when somebody is really close to you because if they're too far it's not really gonna do anything and if you're in first place and you use it it's not gonna do anything either but if it does do something, it's probably just going to end up hitting you. So you have to be careful with this. If you're in first and you're trying to get rid of it so you can get a different power up, you're going to want to hit it in an open space so that it's less likely to hit you. And if you're trying to hit somebody else, then make sure that they're really close to you in the front, not behind you. For jumps, you're going to want to go over all of them or as many as possible without going too out of your way to get to them because they do fill up your magic bar, they give you points, and they also give you a speed boost for like a few seconds, so it's definitely helpful. Shortcuts are going to be your best friend. You're going to want to take every one that you can. There's at least one for every map. If you guys would like a video of all the shortcuts, please let me know in the comments and I will make one for you guys. I hope these tips helped you guys out because they definitely helped me <laughs> with my tournaments. So good luck. Stay sane. 